Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome to another episode of the Houston Texans Madden 17 Connected Franchise Series. We're beginning the regular season this week against the Chicago Bears. It's going to be Deshaun Watson going up against Mitch Trubisky, two first-round draft picks at quarterback, playing against each other in this first week of the 2017 regular season. But before we get into that game, we have a lot of trades I have right here that we're going to be going after in today's episode suggested by you guys because, I mean, we have a decent team, but as you guys know, we have so many positions that we need to upgrade before we even jump into the regular season, especially at the cornerback position. Our cornerbacks are trash, so I'm looking to get at least two to begin today's episode and a couple other positions I'm looking at as well. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's episode, and if you do, make sure to drop a like. If we could smash 2,000 likes on today's episode like we have in every single episode, that will be absolutely incredible. Also, if your trade is not suggested in today's episode, be sure to leave your trade suggestion in the comment section below to have a chance to have your comment featured in the next episode. And be sure to also thumbs up the comments that you think would be great for trade suggestions in this series. Now with that said, let's get to upgrading this team. Now before we even get to trying to get cornerbacks, I'm going to go after a trade that was suggested a lot in last episode because you guys said it was actually relatively easy to make go through. So with 44 thumbs up, we're going to be going after a Dallas Cowboy and trying to upgrade the interior of our offensive line. And that is a 95 overall Zach Martin. And you guys said I could get him for a third round draft pick. So with that being the case, I want to see how close you guys actually are that being right. Can I throw in a fourth round draft pick? It'll be kind of close. Oh my god, you guys aren't kidding me. We have a defensive tackle that I don't really like in DJ Redder, who actually went up to a 76 overall. What about this trade straight up? It is... Okay, that's not actually that close. So what if I throw in... Why don't I just go ahead and throw in the third round? Well, no, I want to try to make... I wanted to keep my third round draft pick. Throw in a fourth. And we have a ton of six. Throw in a sixth round draft pick as well. And this is actually getting pretty freaking close. So you know what? Why don't I just do what you guys said and throw in the third round draft pick and see if we can get Zach Martin and it was accepted so you guys were right just like that I don't know how that's so easy but we get a 95 overall right guard so uh, that's really our first superstar that we get in this series so now it's time to go after the plethora of cornerbacks that I have on my list I have like five or six on my list right here as suggested by you guys in last episode and I'm gonna try going after all of them and see which one seems like the easiest to get it all depends on what players that we have that that team is particularly interested in. So let's see. With 146 thumbs up, you know, the main man, Richard Sherman. Now their team need, or one of the biggest team needs is cornerback. So we might not be able to get him, like, easy at all. I mean, he's a 95 overall cornerback. But, you know, I'm going to try because you never know what players they might be interested in. You know, they need a wide receiver. Are they interested in Will Fuller? And they are. Let's see how close... I I'm willing to trade away Will Fuller because I'm trying to get a high 80s overall wide receiver. And if we can have three solid wide receivers and DeAndre Hopkins, John Ross, and then that 80 plus that we're hopefully going to get sometime in the series, I wouldn't mind trading away Will Fuller for a freaking Richard Sherman. So I just want to see how close this is straight up. And it's in the orange, which is kind of what I expected. So they also need a left guard. What do we have at left guard we could give away? Xavier Suofilo or Slade? They actually are interested in him a little bit. Holy crap, dude. I'm going to send this one out there, and it's getting towards the yellow. So if we have one more player that they are interested in, I'm not going to trade away Dwayne Brown. Are they interested in Jeff Schwartz? They're not. See, I think I could potentially trade away a first-round draft pick for Richard Sherman, but I might come back to it later to see if there's any other ones that would be easier to get. They also need a left outside linebacker. Are they interested in Bryn Scarlett by chance? They're not. So this might would be able to go through if we added in like a second-round draft pick. You know what? Let me throw in a second round draft pick, and if that goes through, I'm going to be hype. Now, I, if it doesn't go through, I'm going to go to the other ones and see if we can get another cornerback for a little bit easier, but I would 100% be happy if this goes through, and it's actually really close. I think we might be able to get Richard Sherman if we throw in a first round draft pick. I'm going to come back to it. So now it is time to go after a new New England Patriot with 88 thumbs up. We're going to be going after Stephon Gilmore. He's 25 years old, or 3.17 million. So all the Patriots need is linebackers. So they're not interested in either of these guys. They're not interested in Zach Cunningham, who I think is going to end up being pretty good. It's not even out of the red. So Stephon Gilmore is a guy I would want. It all depends on if that team is interested in any of the players. So the Patriots might not be the move when it comes to getting a cornerback. Like, do I actually trade away Brian Cushing for Stephon Gilmore? 
I don't even know if this would go through straight up. So I'm going to come back to this deal as well if we need to because I think we could probably get another cornerback for a little bit easier. So next, another stud cornerback with 102 thumbs up that we are going to be going after. That is going to be a cornerback for the New York Giants, and that is Janoris Jenkins. The only problem is that he's worth $7.57 million, but it'd be pretty nice to bring him in as a Houston Texan. The Giants need a tight end, and we have Gary Barnage. Now, they're interested in him. God dang it. Why aren't you interested in him, man? That would make things so much easier if they were. Now, how about Ryan Griffin? He's a little bit younger, and they're not interested in him either, so that kind of sucks. Now, they also need a left tackle and a free safety. Now, we do have a free safety in Andre Hall that they are not interested in. So, why? Like, why are they so picky? Like, you need a free safety? God dang. How about one of these two guys, Eddie Pleasant or KJ Dillon? Neither of these guys either. God dang. So the Siege of Norris Jenkins might not be the move because, <laughs> like, they're not interested in any of our players that I'm willing to trade away. They are interested in them. If it's in the green, I might go through with it and add in something else. And if it's not, I don't know. And, see, it's not even in the green yet. Like I said, I have to be smart with what I'm doing right now. And I think I'm going to just kind of chill on this deal and see what happens later on in the video. So next we have three cornerbacks that I am going to go after from this one comment with 170 thumbs up. We have Marcus Peters, Patrick Peterson, and Jalen Ramsey. So all it's going to depend on is if the teams that I'm trying to get the players from are interested in like in our free safeties, our strong safeties, who I am willing to trade away, a couple of our offensive linemen, and they just haven't been. And maybe even Gary Barnage. I know a couple teams I went through that are interested in Gary Barnage, but unfortunately it's not been the teams that I need to get the players from. So hopefully that makes sense. So first player we are going after is Marcus Peters. Now what is his overall in this franchise? And it's 85, and he's actually relatively young. They need a wide receiver, cornerback, QB, left and middle linebacker. Now are they interested in Will Fuller? I know we were trying to use him, they're not. See, this is, so like, why are the Chiefs not interested in him, but the Seahawks are? So that, that sucks, big time. Now, at middle linebacker, I have Brian Cushing that I could use, but I want to, like, I want to save Brian Cushing, because he's one of our biggest trade baits that we have left on the team. I want to save him for a 90-plus overall player. Now, are they interested in any of our strong safeties or free safeties? And they're not. I know it's not a team need, but sometimes they are interested in those players that are still pretty good, even though it's not a team need. So how about one of our right guards, Jeff Allen or Swartz, and they're not, not interested in anybody. See, this is why it's difficult sometimes. How about one of my two centers, and they're not. So what else do I have I can trade away? <laughs> I, I think it's uh, I think it's going to be a no, a strong no on Marcus Peters. So now to the Arizona Cardinals and Patrick Peterson. I know he's 95 overall, 7.7 .7 million would be hit towards our cap room. But, like, he's a star player that I would 100% be willing to trade away Brian Cushing for. So, can we get Patrick Peterson, man? This would be lit. So, I am throwing in Brian Cushing for this deal. And they are interested in him, but it's going to take one more player, I think. Let me just see straight up how close this is. It's probably not even going to be halfway, and it's not. That's kind of what I expected for a 95 overall player. Now, they also need a defensive tackle. Let's see if they're interested in that DJ Redder guy that I'm not going to use. And they are. This could happen, boys. If the Seahawks are interested in Brian Cushing, they're not. So I am going to try this deal opposed to the Richard Sherman deal. So let's go down to the Arizona Cardinals and throw back in Patrick Peterson for this deal. And then put in that DJ Ritter guy at defensive tackle who's bumped up to a 76 overall. Is this going to go through? Are we going to get Patrick Peterson? It's in the yellow. Wide receivers, are they interested in Will Fuller? They are. Oh, is this too much for Patrick Peterson? How about this instead? I think it's about the same. So let me throw back in that defensive tackle and see if I can get Patrick Peterson for a draft pick added into the deal. Maybe like a second round draft pick from next year. I want to try to save my first as long as I possibly can. So let's throw in a second round draft pick for next year. See how close this deal is and it's in the yellow. So how about my second round draft pick as well for this year to make this deal go through? And it's so close. Oh my God, man. How about my first round draft pick for next year for Patrick Peterson? Do I throw in Will Fuller? Like, see, this is where, I, 
like a middle linebacker and a defensive tackle in a first round draft pick. Is that worth it for Patrick Peterson? God dang, dude. So let's go back. I, I'm going to throw in Will Fuller. I think I'm going to do it. Will Fuller also added into this deal. If this goes through, we're going to need another middle linebacker and a wide receiver for next episode. Throwing this into the universe. Is it going to be accepted? Oh my god, it's not. See, a first round draft pick might not even be enough. Oh, do I do it? Do I throw in a first round draft pick? I'm going to do it. This would be our biggest player in the series so far. We'd have two 90 plus overall players coming in to the Houston Texans for this series if this goes through. So Brian Cushing, DJ Ritter, a first round draft pick. Is this going to happen? And I thought it was actually going to happen. I promise you guys we are going to be getting one of these cornerbacks in today's episode. I'm just going to have to see which one I think is the most logical for me to get. To chill on that front for a little bit, we have two more players that I am going to go after in today's episode. So with 70 thumbs up, we're going to be going after Mark Barron and Des Bryant. Now if we get Mark Barron, I'm going to convert him to free safety, or strong safety rather. And as you see, my, my subscriber said he's an 88 overall. So he's a middle linebacker. So a 77 overall middle linebacker. He's worth $7 million, So that kind of sucks, dude. Actually really does suck. But... You know, we have some money that we can spend, so that's not the biggest deal in the world. So how about one of these two uh, centers? They are interested in this guy. Now, I feel like we can get a draft pick as well. I don't really, I'm not really worried about trading away my backup center, and I feel like this would go through straight up. So let's see if we can also get a second round draft pick in with this deal, and it's in the orange. So we might be able to get a draft pick, but not a second round draft pick for sure. So how about like a fifth round draft pick added in, and it's so close. It is so close. So I think I'm just going to throw in a like seventh round draft pick for next year just so I can get a fifth for this year. Try to help my draft picks a little bit. And this is going to go through straight up. So we are going to get Mark Barron and play him as strong safety. And I think that's a, that's a decent deal. So as my subscriber said, we are going to go to the middle linebacker position and change Mark Barron to a strong safety. And I know he's worth seven million, which kind of sucks. But we do have some players, like I said, that we are going to be trading away in this series that are going to help out our cap space as well. So we're going to make him a strong safety and see if he is, in fact, an 88 overall at that particular position. And he is an 88 indeed. So this guy is going to be a beast for us. And for pretty much nothing, we get ourselves a star strong safety, which means we can trade away one of these two guys who are relatively young. So they should be pretty good trade bait. Now, Des Bryant could be the star wide receiver that I'm looking for. Now, like I said, all depends on what they want in return. Now, see, he's 9.22 million. That would leave us with 4 million in cap room, which means we'd have some players that we definitely have to ship out ASAP. Maybe you'd have to ship out Dwayne Brown and bring in another left guard or left tackle. Both of these guys, holy crap, Swartz, how about this? That's not even like out of the orange. So how about Allen instead since he is younger and they actually are about the same in terms of interest. So what else could we trade away? Are they interested in that defensive tackle DJ Redder? And they're not. So that kind of sucks. Now we can go to the left outside linebacker position. Nobody there. How about one of our safeties that I'm willing to trade away now? Any of these guys are interested in? They are interested in KJ Dillon. Throwing him in, and it's in the orange. So, I'm not breaking the bank here since Des Bryant is worth $9 million because that would suck. But what I am going to do for one last trade attempt for Des Bryant, because it's not our number one position to need. I need to get a cornerback before I focus on a wide receiver, but I am going to attempt it. So, KJ Dillon, Swartz, and I'll throw in a second round draft pick for next year and see what we can get see let's see how close this is straight up first and it's actually really close dude huh huh so let's throw in a second round draft pick for next year see if des bryant will be a houston texan and oh man it's so close i gotta be smart about this though i have to be smart um let's do it let's do it are we bringing in des bryant to be our number one receiver as a houston texan and oh my god it actually happened. It actually happened. Dez Bryant is a Houston Texan. He's staying in state, but he's a Houston Texan. I never in a million years thought this would go through, and I'm probably going to regret it, especially since he's 9 million. But god dang, I think that's a pretty decent deal. We still have 8 million left. I know this would suck for right now for today's episode because I don't have any left tackles suggested, but with us getting a 9 million player in Dez Bryant, I think I need to trade away Dwayne Brown, who is a 9 million player as well, and I probably can get a better left tackle for a better price in next episode. So if this deal does go through, we end up getting Richard Sherman while trading away Dwayne Brown, 
you guys need to suggest left tackles because we'll only have like a 60 overall left tackle behind him that's going to start in today's episode if this does go through. I think this would be smart because we could get maybe a Joe Thomas or something for cheaper. But let's see. Dwayne Brown, Will Fuller, because I won't mind trading him away since we just got Des Bryant. And this trade's in the yellow. Do I dump a first round draft pick for next year to get Richard Sherman? And it's in the green. I think if we get a second round draft pick for this year, we can get Richard Sherman on the team. But I just traded away, obviously, to get Des Bryant. But I'm going to spend a minute, try to trade some of these plethora of draft picks that I have to get another second round draft pick for this year. I told you that one team was interested in Gary Barnage, and that was actually the Los Angeles Rams. So I just offered them Gary Barnage next year's third and this year's sixth and got there this year's second. So this might be enough to bring in Richard Sherman. If this doesn't go through, this is going to hurt so bad. But Dwayne Brown, Will Fuller, a second round draft pick for Richard Sherman. It would be worth it. And oh my God. God! Oh my God! Oh, that hurts so bad! How about we go back to the New York Giants and try to get Janoris Jenkins? They're interested in Dwayne Brown. Can we bring him in? It's in the yellow there. So how about we throw in the second round draft pick for him as well? I think Janoris Jenkins would be worth it. We'd still be gaining two million in cap room from this deal. Is this gonna go through straight up? We keep the word it was! So I know it's not Richard Sherman. I know that might suck for you guys, but we still get a very talented cornerback in Janoris Jenkins for a left tackle, which is very old. We gain two million in the cap room and throw in a second round draft pick. I feel like we could probably get a better left tackle next episode for pretty much nothing. So make sure you suggest that in the comment section below. It still kind of hurt we didn't get Richard Sherman, but we kept on to Will Fuller as well, so that kind of helps us moving forward. I think I just discovered what we need to do, boys. I genuinely think I just discovered what we need to do. We can trade away Lamar Miller as well to the Seahawks. What I've discovered, Lamar Miller, Will Fuller, and you one more player. You know what? I know I said I wasn't going to trade him away, but if it's what it takes to basically be swapping him for Richard Sherman, I would take Richard Sherman over Kevin Johnson. Although he's really young, like, if we could do a straight swap, dude, they, this has to go through, right? If this doesn't go through, I, I'm not willing to spend a first-round draft pick if we have this much that they want. We'd actually gain, like, probably three million in cap room here. Gonna submit it. Oh, dude, Richard Sherman, why are you so hard to get? Oh, so with that, guys, I think we're gonna just leave it on this front before I do anything stupid in terms of trades. Because we traded away a ton, but got a ton in today's episode. But, like, this is crazy. So, uh, in terms of getting players for next episode in terms of trades, let me tell you what positions we need to get. Like, we're our offensive line is awful. It might be okay for game one against the Bears because it's the Bears. But we need, we need like, a new, completely revamped offensive line. At least, we ha I'm going to be taking one suggested left tackle next episode. It needs to be an 80 plus because we've got to upgrade that position. Now, I think we're good for right now at wide receiver until we trade away Will Fuller. I'm still looking to get maybe a better running back, but for sure we need to get ourselves another corner. Because I said we were going to get two cornerbacks at the beginning of today's episode, but with us getting a strong safety, Mark Barron, and a corner in Janoris Jenkins, and Des Bryant. I wasn't expecting to do a Des Bryant type trade today, but we did. So we get three massive players. I'll probably, who else did we get? We got four, actually. We got a 95 and freaking uh, Zach Martin. So this just went insane. Four star players onto the team, but we still have a lot we need to do to be able to compete, especially on the offensive line. Like this offensive line is some trash. So be sure to keep that in mind going forward for your comments on today's episode. Now with that said, that was probably like the longest ever trade portion of a connected franchise episode I ever had, but that had to be the case because that was insanity. Probably the, the easy, easily the craziest trade portion of a video I ever had. So hopefully you did enjoy that. If you did make sure to drop a like, let's jump into this first regular season game of today's episode and hopefully start the season off 1-0. We gotta be great. Is it Soph? It's the only person I won't get mad at for interrupting my video. Are you naked? You wanna be in the video? So I'll put her head in it. I'll put your head in it. Say hey girl! No, I can't no! Nakedness! Nakedness, baby nakedness! Say hey girl. Hey. I love you. I love you. I love you. Can I have a kiss? You're so sweet. Say bye. Bye. So guys, this is crazy. I didn't notice that Mitch Trubisky actually isn't starting this game. 
the Bears still have him developing behind Mike Glennon. So they're going with the more experienced guy than the rookie. Maybe he'll be the starter by the end of the season, but I was expecting the Sean Watson versus Mitch Trubisky. Oh my God, Jordan Howard goes right up the middle. It's like a 30-yard gain. There's a flag at the very end of the play. Hopefully, it's going to be a holding call or a block in the back. I think it was holding against the Chicago Bears. So it's going to bring it back to the 43. Oh, they have Kevin White over the middle for the first down. Tried to bring some pressure, but Mike Lennon's been pretty good early on. Oh, God, Ryan Cushing isn't fast enough. That's why I said I don't necessarily like using him. He's a good linebacker, but just not my type to user. So that's why I kind of want to trade him away for somebody really good. But then at the same time, we need to get a very speedy middle linebacker to have backing up. Have the Bears to another third down and eight. See if we can home to a field goal right here. User and J.J. Watt has an open Miller. And can we keep him from the first down marker? And I think we just do. Fourth down and one. And thank God we're playing against the computer because they always kick field goals. So after that pathetic drive defensively from me, at least we hold the Bears to a field goal. So at least we're not behind by seven points. Oh, God, they're faking it. They're actually faking it. Come on, get them. No, God dang it. I've never seen the computer fake a field goal. Oh, my God, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, my God. Mitch Trubisky, I just pointed him out that he wasn't starting, but in his first career game, even though he's not starting, gets a rushing touchdown. This episode is actually crazy. In all my times of doing connected franchises, I've literally never had the computer fake a field goal like that. So he really couldn't have had much worse of a start offensively. He had a drop pass from Jay Ajayi and a drop pass from DeAndre Hopkins. Let's see if we can pick this up, though, and make up for those two drops. Oh, man, just going to do nothing. There was nobody open. We go three and out on our first drive offensively. Maybe it is the offensive line. Like This offensive line's average rating is like 60. Oh my god, I am awful at this game. I mean, I was trying to help hold down A to make a conservative tackle. And Jordan Howard makes us look stupid. Lamar Miller has a ton of space. Can we get the blockers? And we do. Can he outrun this last man? And I think he is gonna. So with a cheesy screen pass, we're gonna get on the board. 14-7 ball game. Maybe that's Lamar Miller telling me that he does not need to be traded away. We have to make sure we pay close attention to each individual player's performances. Like, I know, like I said, I want to trade him away, but if he contributes with big plays like that, maybe we need to keep him on the team. So this third down and seven will be huge if we can get the ball back and potentially tie the game on the next drive. Make sure they don't get the dump off here. We're going to be right there. We make the tackle. Actually, a decent play for me, if you consider that a decent play, as we hold them to a fourth down and two. We're going to get the ball back and have a chance, if we can play good offensively, to tie the ball game. Oh, what an awful pass for me. Gosh dang, man. I was actually thinking with the blitz that DeAndre Hopkins was going to be open on the inside. So I was trying to anticipate the open route as he had pressure in our face. There was nobody there. I don't know how he didn't get open. I guess great coverage from the linebacker. Man, I'm actually really disappointed because I thought that was about to be a big play. And I, I guess I'm just stupid. Oh, Jordan Howard is just running wild. We have a third down and three here. If we have to hold him to a field goal, like I said, I'll be happy with it. It's a flag, so hopefully a holding call. Hopefully he runs out of bounds. I think it's going to be short. I don't even know if he got credited with the catch. If it's a holding call, I'm going to 100% just decline the penalty and make them settle for the field goal because I don't want to give them another chance. We're going to decline it. And I'm, I'm not. <laughs> like, I'm not going to, like, try to block the kick. Like, they better. I hope they actually fake it again. Because we'll actually be able to stop them and keep them from scoring anything here. But, you know, with it being the computer, they're actually, yep, they're going to kick the field goal. And they go on top, 17-7. to Could be a lot worse, though. What an awful throw! De like, Deshaun Watson! Oh, my God! Now, okay, the other throw, the other one was my fault. But holy crap, dude. Like, these slant patterns were open. And he overthrew that like it was nothing. Like, there's a little bit of space right here. I mean, there's a couple guys right there that could potentially make the play, but... If a good throw was thrown right here, that could have been like an eight-yard gain, but he, look how much he overthrew that by. Oh, man, Zach Miller on the outside. Need to make a tackle. He has the ball down to the four-yard line. If they go up 24-7 for the half, we are going to be in a tough, tough position to have a chance to even come back in this game. Here it is, fellas. Third down and goal. If we can hold him to a field goal, I'll be okay after the awful interception, and that's going to be a touchdown. Kevin White wide open. Kevin White's first touchdown in probably 15 years. Des Bryant, one on one with the safety. Come on, Des. Come on, Des. Go up. Des Bryant, touchdown with it, baby. Let's go. Des Bryant's first catch 
as a Houston Texan. That's why I love that play. 74 yards. That safety. That was pathetic safety play, I must say. He didn't even, like, I don't even know what just happened. But Des Bryant, his first, like, actual attempt of as a Texan, man. He looks like Andre Johnson in his prime. Basically, kind of like the same receiver, but we have Andre Johnson, the actual Andre Johnson, a tight end. So, we have two Andre Johnsons on the field at the same time, which is nice. Not again! No! What is this game? What is this game? It's like the third time he's got the ball, like, to the 40-yard line or farther. Kendall Wright just completely breaks our hearts before halftime. Oh my god, dude. What is up? Our special teams has been awful all game long. You might not have seen it in the gameplay. But, like, what is going on? Andre Johnson, come on, need a good throw. Good catch. Andre Johnson into the red zone. The slants are going to be open. That's Des Bryant. Can he get into the end zone for a second touchdown at the Texan? No, he doesn't. But down to the one yard line. Now, all we have to do is punch this in, and it's a 10 point game. But we have to play some good defense, though. But I can't get ahead of myself. We're on an empty set here. We've got to make the most out of this opportunity. Oh, man, I choked. I choked. Throw the ball away. I swear to God on my life. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I swear to God on my life. I was trying to throw the ball away. And as I went to go click our, like the right stick in, I accidentally bumped whatever button I threw that to. I, I swear to God on my life. That's the luckiest play I ever had. Run the ball inside of Daria. Oh, God. we got to get to the quarterback. Zach Miller's wide open. Brian Cushing isn't fast enough. Oh, my God. It's going to be a touchdown, isn't it? I was trying to clog the middle because I thought they were about to run the ball up the middle on third down and inches. And that shows you how slow Brian Cushing is. He couldn't even catch up with a tight end. Third down and three. Let's see if we can get another stop right here. And Bernard McKinney with the tackle is going to set up for another bear field goal. We're going to need some type of huge miracle right here. Third down and 17. Somebody's got to come up clutch, man. Somebody has got to come up clutch. Nobody's open. Nobody's like nobody was open to throw it to. Our offensive line is atrocious. No way. No way. How am I supposed to control the punter? Like, why does... I've never I've never blocked a punt in this game. I was checking the achievements, never blocked a punt or a field goal. And the only way you can block a punt or a field goal is if you get that animation where the punter or field goal kicker takes 15 decades to get the ball off. Like, I have no control over that. Now that's where Madden gets stupid. <laughs> where you have no control that your punter takes 15 minutes to punt the football! Well, the Bears are going for two. And I I'm, I'm, didn't even know what play I picked. And they pick it up. So it's a 21-point game. Oh, here we go, baby. Hit him on the run. Des Bryant. Des Bryant, baby. Get shoestring tackle, but down to the 24-yard line. Every time they get pressure like that or bring pressure on that particular play, I just press a button. <laughs> I just press one of the outside receivers and give them a chance one-on-one because -on -one there's no deep safeties. we got to score quick, man. We have got to score quick. No dumb mistakes here. We're going to have... Oh my god, I thought that was about to be a pick. Third down and 11. We have got to score a touchdown on this drive. But we don't pick this up, I gotta go for it. It's just gotta happen. The post route's gonna be open. Doesn't overthrow it. Des Bryant, man, is having a huge first game as a Houston Texan. Like, I think we have to... I don't even know what to do, man. Three touchdowns in five minutes. Can we do it? Run the same exact play. See if DeAndre Hopkins this time now can be open on the post route. And Andre Johnson's gonna be open. That's gonna be... Why'd you loft it? Why did he loft that pass? Come on, JJ on the screen pass. Get your blockers. Get your blockers. JJ into the end zone. We have to play some good defense and get a three and out, or this game is over. Two touchdowns were down. We can make it happen, though. Biggest play of the game so far, boys. Third inches from the 37 yard line. We got to create some pressure up front. They're running the football. Come on. A read option. This is going to be a holding call. We just got so lucky. Who expected a read option with Mike Glennon? But thank God, I think they're going to get called for holding, and it's going to be a third down and 10. And give us a chance to get the football back. I am going to accept that, of course. So, now a third down and 10, boys. From the 27-yard line, we have got to be clutch and make this stop. If we don't make this stop, it's probably GG. They're going to run it with a halfback draw. Jordan Howard's going to get a big chunk of that back. But we are going to get the ball back with three minutes left to go. This could be a huge play. Jay Ajayi, this could be a touchdown, man. Break this tackle. Jay Ajayi bounces off a man. He gets close to midfield. He's still on his feet. Gets down to the 45. That's what we needed to start off this drive. Deshaun Watson quietly, aside from his two really bad interceptions, over 300 yards, but I've had to throw the ball all game long. There's nobody on Dez. There's nobody on Dez. Oh, now there is. There's a safety. Do I do it? Dez Bryant, one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Come on, Dez. Be great. Dez Bryant, go up. That's picked. I knew the animation was coming. God dang. God dang it, man. Fourth and 22, man. Final play or final chance of the ball game. We got to get super lucky. Have got to get super lucky. Des Bryant, though. Des Bryant makes the catch. Des Bryant picks up the first down, baby. Let's go. We're still in this ball game. We got to score quick, though, like faster than this. Like, we have to score. 
We got to, like, preferably the next play would be nice. Very, very nice. We're on the same exact play to the opposite side because I'm a genius when it comes to play calling. Andre Johnson's open. Can we make the throw on the run? No! Andre Johnson, other side of the field. Big play. We're going to be able to get out of bounds, too. So with a minute, 26 seconds left to go, we have the ball at the 30. Oh, man. Andre, I threw it. I did, shouldn't have thrown it. Yep, I don't even care. Don't even care. Pissed. 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 Don't know why I clicked that button, but I'm pissed. Well, we might be able to get one playoff, but unless we can score two touchdowns in three seconds... It is G freaking G. This offensive line was some trash. I was some trash. Let's go ahead and throw our fifth pick of the game. Des Bryant goes up. It's not picked off, but that is going to do it. Man, what an awful game. That's probably the worst game I've played in a long time. Made some big plays, but also, like, we have some holes we need to fill. I know a lot of it was my part, but, like, that was bad. Some bad throws from Deshaun Watson as well. 17 completions, 36 attempts. 358 yards, four touchdowns, four picks. We were behind the whole entire ball game. Didn't even get to use Jay Ajayi. Four rushes, nine yards. Big game though from Dez in his debut as a Texan. Five receptions, 169 yards. But that was just bad. We couldn't get any pressure all game long. We got one sack, and that was the very last defensive play we had. So, like the uh, Mike Linden was actually good. <laughs> he was actually really good. 14 and 19, one touchdown, no picks, did what he had to do. Jordan Howard was incredible. Just like we couldn't, our offensive line was bad. We couldn't force any pressure up front, and we just sucked. So just for the heck of it, as of right now, I'm going to sign this guy because we need a left tackle next episode. We had like a 68 overall left tackle starting. I'll take a 72 over a 78 any day of the week. So guys, that is going to do it for today's episode of the Houston Texans Madden 17 Connected Franchise Series. Hopefully you did enjoy, although we did take a big loss to the Bears of all teams in episode one. But like I said, hopefully you did enjoy, and if you did, make sure to drop a like. We are going to be taking on the 0-1 Kansas City Chiefs in week two of this series, as we are both looking for our first one of the season. But if you did follow the Brown series, you know how I feel about the Chiefs, because you know how the series ended up. But if you didn't watch it, I don't want to spoil it. Go check the last episode of the series. But be sure to leave your trade suggestions in the comment section below. Definitely need some offensive line help. Definitely need another cornerback. And just help me, please, because that was bad. But let's make sure we hit 2,000 likes once again, as we have in every episode on this series so far. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.